Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. And in today's video, we are going to enhance our Django debugging skills by integrating the Django debug toolbar. Django debug toolbar is a must know for everyone who uses Django as it provides with lots of insight about Django application such as uh, performance, query optimization, uh, caching, etc. To kick off things, we are going to take a look at step by step process of how to install and integrate Django debug toolbar into Django. So let's go to the VS code and uh, we are going to start by creating a new terminal and we'll create our environment. So pp-env shell, that is what I use now. Let me clear this. Once this is done, what we are going to do is install Django and uh, once that is installed, we are going to install the django debug toolbar so i will uh, give the link of this toolbar in the description section so make sure to check that out and also our code link is present in the description so if you want to refer that that also can be helpful for you all so what i'm going to do is uh, install this and i'm going to only copy this much so what i'm going to say is pip env install django debug toolbar once that is installed, I'm going to clear this and we are going to start by creating our project and application. So I'm going to start by writing the command Django admin start project and I will call the project as SRC as always. And then what we are going to do is we are going to navigate inside the SRC and Django admin start app and I'll call the app as demo. Although we don't really require uh, the app for this particular video but uh, anyways we have created the app let me clear this minim sorry clear this and minimize it we are going to go inside src again inside src and in settings.py first we'll install our app okay so app name is uh, demo so i'm going to use demo over here and that is done now these are the steps that we are going to use for configuring the django debug toolbar so make sure to watch it carefully uh, first we have to install it inside the installed apps I know this sounds crazy, but install it inside the installed apps and it is called as uh, debug toolbar. That is what we have to install inside this. And after that, we also have to configure one of the middleware. So I'm going to tell you which middleware to configure. So debug toolbar dot middleware dot uh, debug toolbar middleware. This is the middleware that we have configured. So now that our middleware configuration is done, what we have to do is we have to specify the internal IPs for toolbar to be used. So for that, we are going to scroll down at the bottom and specify internal IPs. So I N T E R N A L internal IPs, all caps, and this is a list that it accepts. And here, what we have to do is we have to put only those IPs where we want this toolbar to be running let's say if you, uh, you want it to be running only on the local host so specify only the local host ips or if you want say you have some uh, staging server where you want this to be running toolbar so that is also what you can mention over here and it will run over there in i highly recommend it not to run on the production but it is up to y'all what y'all have to do so we are going to specify local host itself so local host and along with that what i'm going to do is i'm going to mention 127 also that is our home ip why because i like sometimes i just open it in a local host sometime i prefer using 127 so that's why i have mentioned it both so that we never face any problem so these two things are done uh, now the only uh, last configuration remains is configuring it in the urls.py so we are going to go to urls.py and over here we have to do some imports. So first of all, along with the path, we are going to import the include. And after that, what we are going to do is we are going to actually, uh, let me check what I have done. Yeah. So I'm also going to import the con uh, settings. So from uh, django.conf import settings. So what I'll do is I'll only allow this toolbar to be uh, like used or URL to be used only when we uh, we have the debug equal to true in settings.py. So that is what I'm going to check over here. So if setting, it is settings actually. So settings dot uh, debug 
or it is caps oh sorry about this so it is caps so we check first of all whether settings debug is true or not and once that is then we will append the url so uh, before that we also have to import the toolbar of course so import a uh, debug toolbar and over here we are going to do is url patterns plus equal to append the new one so the path will be path will be underscore underscore debug underscore underscore front slash so this is the path that we have to specify and it is already mentioned on the uh, tool uh, debug toolbars uh, official documentation so you all can check from there as well not an issue and once we have this path we have to include toolbars url so i'm going to specify it over here so debug toolbar dot urls and that's it these are the only configuration that mm, those were required so again if we revise this uh, we have installed our uh, package called as django debug toolbar and then we went inside settings we'll scroll to top first of all in installed apps we have installed to uh, debug toolbar then we went to middleware and in middleware also we have specified this debug toolbar middleware dot debug toolbar middleware and then finally we come down and uh, internal ips uh, what we have to specify that means where to run this uh, where, that means which all site on which all sites this uh, toolbar should run so that is mentioned over here localhost and 127 and then we went to urls.py and configured it to run only when settings.debug is true so let's save this uh, we'll bring this up the terminal and we'll make migrations okay make migrations oh no migrations so python manage.py migrate i think migration might not be really required but still we did it anyways and uh, we'll run the project now so python manage.py run server i'm going to go to this website and and once we visit as you can see on the left sorry on the right hand side we have all these things available these are uh, this is what the django debug toolbar looks like and uh, this is where we get all the information so if uh, let's say if i click on settings over here it will open up another page and it will give me all the settings what are present what not are present then if we click on sql there is no sql over here then if we click on timing it shows all the timing so this is how we integrate the django debug toolbar into Django. If you all want to learn how to use this toolbar and how to understand what is happening with your application, comment down uh, to let me know so that I can create a dedicated video for that. So that's it for this video guys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and share. See you in the next one.